grew up together in central New South Wales, a town called Mudgee. And over the course of their lives, they've all ended up living in Brisbane, in various suburbs of Brisbane, and started their own book club, which they jokingly called the Vixens. And the story is really about the, the power, strength, beauty, challenges of female friendships. And Titters is an Aboriginal word that became quite popular between 1990 and 2000 because of a band called the Titters. Each character is on a particular journey and they do evolve and grow and change over the course of, of the story. So for instance, Veronica married her husband in Munchie when she was only 18. She was pregnant and was talk of the town at the time. She loved him and her new journey as we get into the beginning of the novel is you know, after 20 years of marriage and three grown up sons, he's left for someone else and the boy's leaving home and she's in this place where what is my identity now that I'm no longer really a doctor's wife and, and a boy's mother. Isabel is a, a career driven woman who lives in West End. She's groovy, she loves Boundary Street, she loves running along the river and sitting under the jacaranda the trees and she's firmly focused on being Australia's Oprah. Of course, so Xanthi, Xanthi's also career, one of the new breed of, or the growing breed of um, Aboriginal women who are making a mark in the corporate sector. She's worked in government. She's now um, well known in her area for cultural awareness training. She travels around the country doing what she does in the corporate sector with mining companies and so forth. Uh, five years married to a humanitarian woman that she met in Musgrave Park um, when he was chanting against the anti-intervention. They live in this little bubble in Paddington, uh, adore each other and there's a strain on their relationship because she's become completely obsessed with getting pregnant. Ellen is uh, probably one of the most vibrant, cheeky of the bunch. She's in a unique position of being um, a funeral celebrant. She's a commutophobe, an uh, undiagnosed commutophobe because as a child her father left her and her five siblings and her mother. She was ended up becoming a co-parent to her younger siblings while the mother went to work um, at the school and the hospital while the father was gone and she decided fairly early that she was never going to have children because she had done all the cooking and cleaning and caring that she was going to do. And then finally there's Nadine who is an author of 13 crime novels and one a couple have been made into a TV series, one's been made into a feature film. She comes from money in Munchie and she married Izzy's brother, Richard, and they live in Upper Brookfield, which is a very moneyed area. I think my favourite character is Ellen because she's cheeky. Uh, she's probably the least emotional of the characters as well, which means when the other girls are being irrational or dramatic and there's lots of tears going on, she'll throw out a joke to try and break the ice. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's like a lead balloon. Um, she's also quite environmentally conscious. She runs along the river at Kangaroo Point. I really like that. She's a very organised businesswoman. So even though her personal life is a little bit all over the place and she's renovated, dating, that's dating renovators. Uh, as a businesswoman she's very focused and she's very thoughtful in terms of the ceremonies that she pulls together for grieving families. And, um, so she's a complex character but also a lot of fun. This novel was a, was a step in a different direction in that first of all the five main characters, five characters all have equal weighting, all their stories um, have equal depth, they all evolve and change and so they were all very important to the, the overall storyline. So for me, that was a challenge as a writer to make sure that they all were dealt with um, with a sense of equity. And they all grew and changed, not saying that everything is good in the end. Um, so that was a challenge for me as a writer.